What's up guys? Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm at the Conception Roman Catholic Cemetery and I am here to investigate one specific person. Stephen Newbaker. On the only website that says anything about this dude, it says Stephen Newbaker was a wheat farmer in Bruce County, which is the area that we're in. He was returning from selling his crop when he was murdered, apparently by a neighbor. See more. It posts the website, but the website is unavailable. Not just on my phone, my laptop, my tablet, my other phone. The website doesn't work, so there's nothing on this guy. I mean, Buddy was a farmer, so kudos to you. Kudos to you. While everyone else is trying to find, you know, who murdered it, who did it, what was the case, all the stuff like that, all the technical, fun, not crazy stuff. I'm out here trying to talk to the one that got murdered. I'm gonna find answers and hopefully I will be able to catch some evidence of some kind of sort. All there is on the website when you open up Find a Grave, because that's the only website that you can go on. Honestly, this guy doesn't even exist anywhere else. He was born in Germany in 1822 and died on the 21st of February in 1868. Was that a leap year that year? I don't know, it would have been pretty close to a leap year. But anyways, so there's not a lot to know about this guy. You know, when they killed people back in the day, they didn't necessarily get right down to finding out who it was. They just, but nowadays when there's crime, there's like, you gotta find out every detail. So, so that is why there's not a lot of detail about this guy. But like I said, and we're here to find out what's up. And we're here to meet this Steven guy. Make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. We are almost at 50 subs. And you know what that means? Part two of the back house will be released. It's insane. I went to the back house by myself. That's a haunted Airbnb. I'm known in most of Ontario, people who are into the paranormal stuff. Like I said, we're almost at 50 subs, so let's like it up so I can go ahead and post it. And you guys will be able to finally see it because I've been waiting for 50 subscribers to be able to post it. I don't really know what accent that was. I'm just excited to go in. As you can see, it's pretty cold outside. I got my shoes, I got my hat, I got my coat. I also might grab my mitts if I'm gonna hold the spirit box. I'm not too sure what I'm gonna do. I spent the first night trying to find the grave and then I came a little bit earlier, a couple days later, where when it was kind of light outside and I found it. In all this land where there could have been this gravestone, it is pretty much right beside a house. And the first time I was there, earlier today, there was a car. I left and I came back and there's no car. So when the car's gonna pull back in, they're 100% gonna see me. So I'm gonna keep the light really low. It's not gonna be like this, where you can see my blue eyeballs. <laughs> You're not gonna be able to probably see that, but. The first time that I came here, I turned on the app to make sure if there was something there. And the very first word, I'll put a screenshot of it, right here but the very first word was impale or impalement which makes me believe that you know that could have been how he died because i was asking if you were like how did you die and stuff like that but very very first word too it's like you knew i was there anyways guys i'm gonna get into it let's go see if we can meet steven let's go Whoosh. all right guys so we are here this is what the grave looks like So that's his name, the day, the year he was born. This is who we're investigating tonight. So this is leaning against the grave. I haven't really figured out exactly what the game plan is. It's so awkward. The house is literally right there. I'm basically in their backyard, but there's multiple other graves around here. And there's graves behind me. And the church is also in front of me as well. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up the app. And let it play out. See if there's anything here that wants to talk to me. If not, I just got to respect it, you know? But yeah, so the app is on. I'm going to let it play. Turn up the volume just a little bit so we can hear it. Under the ground. Oh, the app just popped up under the ground. Are you under the ground that I'm sitting on? Not only do I have the app, but I also brought the famous flashlight. 
I, thought, I definitely thought that was an orb, but that's just a reflection. All right, so I'm gonna set the flashlight up on the grave. Guess I'll let you know when it turns on. Maybe you'll see it on the reflection and I'll back up a little bit so you don't think that it's me touching it. And we're just gonna crouch. So, Steven, it's Paige and I'm back. I promised you I'd come back and talk to you. I just hope There's a lot of coyotes or wolves or something really close. Dad. Dad. Dad just popped up. Were you a father? Judas Cradle. I am at a church right now. I don't know exactly what that means, but it, I'm pretty sure it's a church term. Steven, are you here with me? I have the flashlight set up right there. I had it set up earlier and you were touching it a little bit. Can you go up and just tap it again? Let me know that it's really you. I'm really nervous. I always get communication with spirits the first time I talk to them. I was like, I'll come back and it's not as good. Unless they don't want to be filmed. See, even if you don't want to be filmed, can you let me know? When? Can you let me know when? Now. Can you give me a sign if you don't want to be filmed? I swear I just heard footsteps behind me. I died. Can you tell me how? Rumor says that your neighbor killed you. Is this true? Williams. When that said Williams, the flashlight flickered just a little bit. Usually when I'm in a graveyard, a lot of names pop out. It's kind of like people want their names. Oh, all these noises. Their names to be said out loud to give them energy and everything. I'm gonna play the spirit box out loud for a few minutes. So many noises. I feel like I'm going crazy. I'm gonna focus. Steven Newbaker. I'm gonna play this out loud. Steven, this is a form of communication. I'm asking you and only you to come forward and speak to me through this. This is a spirit box. It flips through radio frequencies. Spirits are known to be able to jump in and manipulate it. And you're able to talk to them, I guess. Steven, all you have to do is talk and I'll hear you. I'll hear your voice. Are you here? Steven, is that you? Can you tell me how you died? Steven, are you here? The light flickered. I just want to know your story. I don't have long. When did you move to Formosa? Steven, were you murdered? Are you happy? Maisie. Maisie. Another name. Out of bed. Out of bed. Maisie. Can you give me a sign that you'll keep talking to me? I'm sorry if I've been demanding questions. I didn't bring a peace offering. I just came here and kind of kept asking questions. I apologize. You see us. I've been seeing a lot of things tonight. I've been hearing a lot of stuff. Stuff. I just want to know your story, that's all. Not a lot of people know it. And you died so long ago. Are you willing to share your story? 
and answer a couple questions. Will you answer a few more questions? Did you, did you, did you live in Formosa? Do you know the neighbor that killed you? Why did he kill you? Together. Together? What was the neighbor's name? Why did he kill you? Did you have a wife? One more question. Steven, are you still here? Uh, Alright, I think I'm going to end it there. Alright, I want to thank you guys so, so much for watching. I'm so sorry I had to end it really early. It's just me coming out here. I'm starting to hear crazy stuff behind me. I know I'm super empathic, so I know that... And I kept feeling things touch my shoulder. So I know that I'm super sensitive to those things. Um, but when you're by yourself, it's... It's kind of scary because you don't know the difference between reality and, you know, spirits and stuff. Don't forget to like it and subscribe. I am trying to post bi-weekly, but when you're living in Canada, there's not a lot of haunted places. I'm really trying my best. Like I said, I'm outside doing this and I'm by myself doing it too. So I feel like I should get some kind of kudos for that. Wasn't super successful. Then at one point they did say demand. And I was like, I'm so sorry. Like, I'm I'm basically like shoving these questions onto them. It's really not fair to them. Yeah, not a lot of people probably pay attention to Steven. He's probably not super strong in a sense of being able to manifest himself onto people. And I'm not a medium, so it doesn't quite work that easy to me. I, I really like to use my technology, but I'm sorry. I'll review the footage because I feel like there's a lot of words that I wasn't able to pick up by ear. Like I said, the SS method is the best method in my opinion. So authentic. Answers are so authentic. You miss a lot of words and sentences and stuff, but I mean, it's, it's wild how it works. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like the video, give it a big thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time. Almost forgot. I just want to thank everybody I talked to tonight. Thank you guys so much for talking to me. But you are not allowed to follow me home. In the name of Jesus Christ, we are at a church. The church is legitimately right beside me. That is the church. You're not allowed to follow me home. You stay here. You reside here. I might come back. Depends what I find on the spirit box when I review the footage and I'm able to cipher a lot of the things that come through. I may just be back. But, uh, yeah. Thank you guys so much for talking to me. Yeah. Thank you. Alright, we'll see you next time. Bye! This week I am at the... What's it called? Hold up, gotta double check what the exact wording is. There's like six, six different names on here. It's like the Catholic Roman something. Alright, here we go. This week... This week, I am at the Immaculate Conception Roman Catholic... <laughs> Let me try that again. Oh,